exam. Today's video is on Michael Irvin, who is a clear example of why these ex-NFL and NBA players ain't nothing but sellouts. They get behind these commentator desks and they sell everybody out. Look at him, showing all of his teeth. Now pay attention to this video and you gonna understand why I'm about to rant on this clown. If you new here, what we do here usually is read, listen, watch, and we block, talk, break shit down. I know all the brothers out there wish he was a brother, but he's not. Hey. Go to go to hey. the white guy. Now, did you hear that, boy? Do you still doubt me? Look at him, smiling after saying something like that. I know all the brothers wish he was a brother, but he's not. Huh? You see how his voice changed? Like he was gloating, but he's not. Oh, I know all the brothers wish he was a brother, but he's not. He the goat of goats. Wow. Why would we wish he was a brother, Michael Irvin? He ain't nothing but a goddamn cheater anyway. Been cheating since 2001 one when they played the Raiders with a all of a sudden tuck rule. Why would somebody want to be this cheater? Ain't he be deflating balls? Remember Belichick laid up there and say, I don't know, y'all gotta ask that boy Tom Brady about that. Remember that? But look at him. But he's not. He the go to goats. But whenever they bring up Jameis Winston name, they still talking about the 30 intercepts. I bet that boy gonna have a good season. And people like Michael Irvin, they help these people bury these black players. Think about Cam Newton. I'm not a fan of his. I don't even like him, by the way. But y'all didn't see how they basically pushed him to the side. They kept saying, well, Mac Jones, every last throw was the best throw on the planet Earth, y'all. Mac Jones just slung it past the 20-yard line. Oh, Mac Jones just hiked the ball better than I've ever seen. The, did you see the way that the center gave Mac Jones that ball? You understand me, people? Pay attention. But with people like Jameis Winston, who was going off, beat out that little boy who they wanted to start, the little white boy who mobile, forgot his name. I think it's Taysom Hill or something like that. The man beat him out. Ain't nobody hyped that up. Oh, Jameis Winston beat him out. He took that job. That job is his. Ain't nobody build that up. Ain't nobody talking about how Teddy Bridgewater is playing awesome right now. And that man been a serviceable quarterback quarterback nobody lifts him up but him oh i bet y'all wish he was a uh, black but he not talking about i know all the brothers wish he was a brother y'all know what he meant i know all you niggas wish he was a nigga but he's not matter of fact let's look at the video again these clowns boy they make me sick y'all look at the video again so you can hear his little voice i know all the brothers out there wish he was a brother but he's not hey. go to go to hey. white guy you are witnessing the Rebel Network, y'all. I just not heard something I did not hear. Y'all know I had to edit that little clip. You know, I got up out of my seat to pause it and I had to edit that. And I never noticed that. He said, but he's not a brother. It's a white guy. Did y'all hear him? He the goat of goats. It's a white guy. And by the way, by saying goat of goats, y'all know what he trying to do. You're trying to compare him to Michael Jordan, a man who played a totally different sport that he had to dominate. Did Tom Brady dominate like that? No, he was a goddamn cheater. Keep it real. Do y'all remember 2001? I already said tuck rule. 2002, y'all. Remember they was doing all them false injury reports and videotaping people 2015 didn't the coach say they deflated that ball and in 2015 Harbaugh the Jets and Pittsburgh said them boys was recording them didn't the Rams say they was recording them in 2002 but you oh but now nah, he didn't go to ghost a white guy you ready to prop him up huh while people like Cam Newton, y'all notice how black players, like, if you ain't first, you're last. Matter of fact, like Ricky Bobby, if you ain't first, you're last. If them black quarterbacks ain't starting, they kick them completely out the league. And people like Michael Irvin and all of these little mouthpieces help them do the shit, hugging this shit. You think he gonna ever say that about Daniel Jones, that garbage boy for the Giants, y'all? How about Tannehill? He can get a second start. Everybody know that he benefiting from them wide receivers and Derrick Henry. People like Blake Bortles still got a job. Do y'all understand me? Do you understand me? This boy is an operative. But people don't be seeing what the fuck is put directly in front of their face because they won't think of their favorite wide receiver for the Cowboys. 
my boys. These boys be out here shucking and jiving, all of them. Y'all don't notice how they sit up there, they never big up Bridgewater or nobody else? How uh Trey Lance and all of them, but they love Trevor Lawrence, huh? Did you see the footwork on Trevor Lawrence? But Justin Fields, when they come to him, well, he's got to work. He's got to see his blind side on that. When it, well, when he took that drop back, he's got to understand to turn his head both ways. Do you see how they criticize them? Open up your fucking eyes. These dudes is straight up operatives helping these people. They never uh, big up these players, these black players, you know? They never uh, big up them dudes when they come to Brady, though. Look at him. It's a white boy. Boy, he's the best ever. About to lick all in between that dude's toes or something. Look at him. Big old smile on his face, y'all. But this who we supposed to be rocking with? That's why I told y'all. It don't matter if you're watching NFL or NBA. You're still watching operatives and you're still watching white-owned television. We know how these people get down and look at this old... Uh, every teach showing Negro. Look at him. I told y'all, by the way, every time they put glasses on somebody, they act like we supposed to think that they smart. Jay-Z got on glasses, dog. That means he must be smart. Oh, he got dressed too. That means he must be conscious. Y'all gonna fall for that bullshit? Look at Witherspoon and all of them other little mouthpieces. Don't be doing nothing but following the mainstream narrative. They go in there before work. Uh, what do you need me to do, boss? Just like Stephen A. Smith. Every day I wake up in the morning and think about how I can make my boss some money. That's just how all these clowns be. Who you think they got the playbook from? You don't think Michael Irvin and all the rest of them clowns is watching that fool? That fool? Bro, y'all got to pay attention to these clowns. And yes, I watch the NFL. I got to do something to pass the time in this extremely cruel world when I'm watching all of these people, all of these false operatives stick a fucking knife in black people back daily, y'all. Like, think about how complicated it is to watch TV when you are aware of shit. You see every last thing, like every commercial, they got an interracial relationship because all of a sudden, they want to include blacks because they know they the minority. But to get back to this clown, look at him talking about, I know the brothers, Wish he was a, oh, we wish he was a brother. Why? We don't like cheaters. We do stuff the right way. Not about them PEDs. Remember them PEDs the New England Patriots on about five, ten players had it. I think Rodney Harrison, too, was on that list, by the way. Nothing but PEDs, false injury reports. 2002, they taping the Rams. 2015, they taping the Ravens. 2015, they taping the Jets. 2015, they deflating the Colts ball, y'all. Do you understand? Even Bill Cowher, y'all, in 2016, said that them boys had binoculars stealing their signals. Stealing their signals. Come on, now. On top of what they did to the Jets in 2002 and going to be like they got revenge on the league. Like they got, oh, people want to say we cheating? We're about to win every game. That's why you lost the Super Bowl when it count. They let Eli win because we all know all of this stuff is rigged, by the way. If you don't, you need to grow up. Grow up. But I just saw this and got completely furious at this talking puppet. Straight Kermit the Frog, look at him showing every last teeth. How can I make boss some money today? Look at him. Ain't going to talk about your little coke habit while you're sitting up there burying them dudes. He ain't never got no black player uh, back, y'all. Y'all know the ones that they be pushing all the time. They never really got these black players back. I don't know how they let these dudes get away with this, y'all. But like I said, this was a rant. Y'all know how I do. Ain't no note taking or nothing. I'm just going in on what I just saw, which is this clown up here talking about we wish that fool was black. But it's a white guy. Man, let's watch that video one more time just so y'all can hear. I say, but it's a white guy. The goat of all goats. Look at him, tickled pink. I know all the brothers out there wish he was a brother, but he's not. Hey. Go to go to hey. white guy. You are witnessing the Rebel Network, but that's your man, y'all. Michael Irvin. Michael Irvin, another operative. But y'all should know this, bruh.
You see how he was, though. I'm about to uh, wrap this up. But people like him, boy, they deserve a special place, boy. When we get on top, I swear I ain't going to even speculate, but this dude ought to be ashamed of himself. In fact, to me, he the shame of a nation, y'all. For real, bruh. You are witnessing the Rebel Network. Once again, y'all holler at me.